Hey guys, today's Lost Sector is Sepulchre in the Throne World. There are three barriers and one unstoppable. To do a quick build review, we're going to be using Thunder Crash with Thruster. You can use any class ability. With Catapult Lift and Seismic Strike, you could use Thunderclap if you would like. I'm going to be using Storm Grenades, but Pulse Grenades would also work. Moving on to the aspects, Touch of Thunder. This makes my Storm Grenades track, but if you're using Pulse Grenades, it would make them create Ionic Traces. We're going to be using Knockout, which heals us when we get a melee kill. Spark of Feedback, when we take melee damage, our melee will deal more damage, and 10 resilience, which is nice. Spark of Shock makes our arc grenades jolt targets. Spark of Magnitude makes our grenades last longer, and Spark of Resistance makes us take less damage while we're surrounded. Moving on to the guns, I have an auto rifle for the barriers. Salvenger Slavo as a workhorse weapon, and Leviathan's Breath as my unstoppable stunner, as well as my boss damage. Moving on to the artifact. The artifact mods that you want are Thunderous Retort, it gives our super more damage when we are amplified or critical, Electric Armor, which is increased damage resistance while amplified, Lightning Strikes twice, after throwing an Arc Grenade, get increased grenade recharge for a short time, and Shock and All, Arc Final Blows while you are amplified, summon a burst of lightning that damages and jolts targets. Moving on to the armor, I have a Hands-On and an Ashes to Assets on the helmet since it's a hybrid build, Firepower and Heavy Handed to make orbs. We're going to be using a powerful attraction to pick up these orbs with our thruster ability and that is going to be fueling emergency reinforcement so that when we get low we are very hard to kill and we get a lot of damage resistance we're creating all these orbs so we might as well use our recuperation innervation and absolution and then the exotic of choice today is heart of inmost light all right so starting off with the lost sector we're just going to shoot our grenade launcher at the night and throw our storm grenade just trust in the storm grenade it should kill everything back there going to use our grenade launcher to clean up all the adds in here. There is a barrier in here and there will also be a hive guardian. Kind of disrespect the witch a little bit and she almost killed me, but knockout in the subclass is super strong and heals me back to full. Two Leviathan's Breaths for this, which is perfect. There will be a barrier right here in this tunnel. I'm going to use my Thruster to get Heart of the Most Light Stacks as well as save a little bit of time. Once this barrier dies, I'm going to start thinking about the unstop that's about to spawn. It's left or right. The Ogre is available on either side. Once you kill him, it takes two Leviathan's Breath Shots. You're just going to start killing everything again. I'm going to shoulder charge the Ogre to blind it. Aside from the Unstoppable and the Hive Guardian, that Ogre is the only thing in here with a lot of kill pressure. Just going to use two Leviathan's Breaths on him as well. In the final boss room. I'm just gonna throw my nade in the middle of everybody and try to get amplified again. For the boss damage, I'm just gonna be using Leviathan's Breath. As I want to save my Thunder Crash for the barrier. I got him right as he was about to start popping the shield, and that's all there is to it. Happy farming today.